Welcome back to another video guys, over. and today we're going to be Watch Dogs Legion, once again. And yeah, so today let's go. London Corner, you're here with me, Tash, and Buccaneer. Your source for what they don't want you to know. In today's world, we all have to get used to every move being tracked by the optic on our temples, by the cameras around us, and with every yeah, yeah, maybe we make a lot. It seems like everything we do is a big data. Why are they to Giant Black? Giant Black Blue so hungry to get hold of our private information and our metadata. What are they using it for? Will we ever have real private lives again? What is privacy in the digital world? And what happens when capitalism and surveillance become one? As you know, we keep all names confidential and fucking here. Speaking from a secure location, here's new technology strategist Charles, who works all over the world trying to keep democracy strong in the face of the data assault. If you have enough personal data on somebody, you're able to predict what it is that they're going to do. You can tell what they might be passionate about, but mostly you can tell what they fear. And if you can tell what someone fears, then you can manipulate them and you can move them in particular directions. Data is collected on citizens in every possible way. Data is collected through surveillance cameras. Data is collected from television sets. They don't even necessarily need to be super smart television sets. Data is collected from voter records. It's collected from how much power do you use in your house and how much water do you use in your house. In pre-crisis Britain, we got really used to all of our services being free. Everything suddenly became free that was digital. But what people forgot is that if you're not paying for it, then you're the product being sold. If technology brings out the worst in capitalism, capitalism brings out the worst in technology. Senior academic Alvin tells us how big business is have established an operational base in the Royal Court of Justice. First they take over the justice system, then they move in. So much for rule of law. Exactly. But it likely means there's information here about how Albion are targeting dissenters, the who and the why. We need that data if we're going to disrupt their operation.
Bagley, what do we have? A list of what Albion consider high-value targets that are threats to the peaceful running of London. See here, a journalist, and this one runs a community shelter. Good God, bar your doors. What the hell? All suspected of sowing rebellion or exhibiting tendencies towards... <laughs> Albion is systematically arresting people even before they rise up. Joke's on them. This list can actually help us find like-minded allies willing to help us. Well done. We're already seeing results from what you've done. That list we found named a journalist in Camden who's been investigating Albion. We reached out and he's got information that can help us. I think you should meet with him. Forward me the coordinates. So I guess we're supposed to meet with this dead sec person. Going on me. Ready to me. I, I, I can't. Get there. Well, I really have to go all the way there just for the gate. behind the cars. There was a point back in the earliest days of self-driving car technology that they operated by themselves. They used to use a series of sensors to see the world around them. Radar, for instance, would look far off into the distance, while LiDAR would detect objects nearby. And while these cars still use uh, some of this technology, Bloom CTOS and its detailed maps and data that it has on London really makes Bloom be able to take control of it. And CTOS can take control of your car if you're parked incorrectly. It's no surprise that it was made mandatory to have a self-driving car. The system is so bad, though. It's so annoying. Whenever I try to use one of the shareable self-driving cars, I always find myself stuck in traffic jams or roadblocks, not to mention the accidents. I've heard so many stories of cars shunting into the back of others. I think they're worse than human drivers sometimes. The technology was meant to make things better, but Bloom has made it so bad that it just makes London even more chaotic than it was before. I'm giving up on the cars. I'm only using the bikes, which are not self-driving.
A little birdie told me you needed help. You're the crew that's been sticking it to Albion. Can't believe someone else is. Thought I was alone, right? Not doing much, just putting the word out. But you? Taking action, mate. Someone has to, don't they? Anyway, what have you got for us? Almost got clip finding this. All of Albion's operational data for the entire city. Convoy routes, surveillance targets, assets. It's all there. Thinking you can make good use of that. You'll get no argument from me. Here's a sample. Albion's closed King's Cross to the public, right? But what people don't know is that they're using it as their logistics center. Materials, troops, whatever. A lot of it runs through there. You want to give the people a huge boost? Hit that base. Put it out of commission, and you'll severely hamstring Albion's operations here in Camden. Hell, everywhere. Then that's our move. Albion's operational plans are just what we needed to really get some traction. We'll have to take a close look at this. Now, how do we take King's Cross offline? Albion's housed a massive hot... So that generator ain't gonna be easy. They've locked it up tighter since I last saw. Suggestions? My new drones are still in here. They should be functional. You can use one of them. Probably have better luck piloting it too, yeah? Causing a power surge in a hybrid power generator isn't like making a toasting. We're going to need detailed specifications. Suppose we should check it out. Check this out. Cool, looks bloody complicated. News he's got a pretty functional camera. Would a picture do you, Bagley? It would indeed. According to this, there's an override code that'll get us into the generator's system. That's it. Use the code on the generator and I can trigger a power surge. It should be enough to take King's Cross offline. And the rail system too. We got a gold mine of information out of St. Pancras. Albion convoys, informants, gear, you name it. Everything we need to ignite the people of London, like we did in Camden. Derail Albion's operations and give the people a reason to rise up, borough by borough. The more we do that, the more we'll get allies flocking to the cause. We'll show London that DedSec is here for them. That was off the chain, mate. I knew DedSec weren't the bad guys Albion was saying. 
Now the rest of Camden will too. Thanks. Thanks. Now that you've shown the borough what DedSec is really all about, there are going to be folks wanting to join up. A lot of people have been looking for a way to fight back. In fact, there's one in particular I suspect will contact you very soon. I happen to know they're champing at the bit. At this point, I think we'll take all comers. DedSec needs people. I trust you won't disappoint. Fuck yeah. Ready to help make a difference. Fantastic. Well, fuck me, you're still alive. I owe been a tenor. Not only that, but your resistance handiwork just opened up a whole new source of information. So now I spy with my hypothetical eye something interesting at the Ministry of Civic Management. What did you find? The Signals Intelligence Response Service, or SIRS, or the Old Great Gestapo, have developed a surveillance technology called AR Reconstruction. It's the leading edge of privacy rights violation, and thus it could be very useful in our attempts to find Zero Day. There was just no time to bring it into the country. That is when people saw it. And then the medicines. The thing is, there's a load of medicines that you just can't stockpile. There was, a, there was a moment before it took place when actually there were some efforts to try and stockpile some of the medicines. There were some things that could be done. But a lot of it, there was nothing that could be done. We had a major problem with drugs and schizophrenia. So we saw such an uptick in kind of the tactics on the street and people suffering on their own because they didn't have the mental health drugs because those drugs simply couldn't be stopped. We eventually found the same thing with foods that weren't in the UK. And the problem is... I'm here. In theory, the AR reconstruction should allow me to use various sources of surveillance data to rebuild past events. Access a data relay and I can scrape all the metadata for this area. for a test drive. Oh! 
data reconstruction in progress. Oh, this is so cool. It's almost like conjuring up the city's ghosts. You're right. We definitely need this extremely cool thing I want for investigating Zero Day. Shit, for some reason I can't clone it to our servers. All right, access the network here and let's see if we can't find out where to nick one. Located the CTOS hub. Aha! The SIRS has deployed this technology at their HQ, and I've just nabbed their manual on how to set up the system. Now, Scarpa, you can't steal their toy if they throw you in the gulag. What do we need to do in order to get the AR reconstruction tech? The program is hosted on a server that's on the roof of SIRS HQ. All you have to do is grab the whole thing, then take it to a few high-density locations so I could recalibrate it to the Deadset network and clone my own version. You're just gonna... You look like someone who wants to get out there and make a difference. You're with Deadset? That's perfect. I was trying to reach out. I have some info you could be interested in. Go on then. So a few weeks ago, I couldn't get inside the office. Turns out I wasn't the only one. My entire division had been replaced all at once. That's awful. I'm sorry. I know. But I'm doing somewhat fine. I'm not crazy though. This situation is weird, right? I mean, we were skilled, top of our field. And they still managed to replace us in a heartbeat. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, all right. Deadset could check who's replacing you then. Yes, exactly. Help me, and I'll help you back. Oh Oi, you got a lead on this heavy lifter, Bugly? Well, let's put our thinking caps on, shall we? Now, who in London would have access to a construction drone? Could it be a construction worker? Oh, yes. Thanks for that brilliant bags. Not so hard, was it? There's an active construction yard nearby. I dare say you'll probably be Auto able to find a construction lady. worker to recruit there. Here's the coordinates. Auto drive now disabled. According to Bloom, the optic system is now the most secure it's ever been. And, uh, well, of course, I mean, it's so convenient. Optic, isn't it? It makes, saves us so much time and hassle trying to exist in the realm of reality. I don't need to bother with that. I'm sure the government has hacked into my soul and now basically monitors my every waking moment. <laughs> But at least I don't have to type, where's my nearest coffee shop, into a search engine. At least I don't have to waste anything between 8 and 12 seconds every day going online to look up how to make a bowl of muesli. And at least I'm not frittering away my precious mental energies thinking, what do I actually think? Optic is so secure, Ed. It's more secure than a teenage girl reading a women's magazine. It's more secure than a comedian with a drinking problem. It's more secure than a young man who's just got his first motorcycle rifle. They look promising. Oh, they have a beastly drone friend. I mean, the person looks efficient too.
You look like a fighter without a cause. Am I reading you right? You're a dead sick, aren't you? Maybe you can help me. We'll try, and that's more than most. What's going? I got hit by a car and put in hospital. I couldn't pay for my medical bills. Then Clan Kelly offered to help out, and now I'm...